Hey, welcome back to Texas Sports Connection. I'm Rod Bayris. We're going to go behind the burnt orange curtain, review the Baylor game just a little bit, but we'll talk about the hottest topic with the Longhorn fans, and that's who's going to be the next offensive coordinator on the 40 Acres. First of all, very, very improbable victory by the Longhorns in Waco. Um, the Longhorns were down five starters in that game, still find a way to pull the upset. Now, I do understand the Baylor Bears down to their emergency quarterback, their four-string quarterback, and almost made that thing close, but the Longhorns found a way to persevere and and find a way to win that game. That was huge. I'll give you a little stat, too. In uh, this season alone, Charlie Strong has two wins over top 12 teams. That's as many wins as Mac Brown had in his last four seasons on the 40 Acres. So, a reason to be optimistic. But let's talk about the big topic on the 40 Acres, and that's who's going to be the next offensive coordinator. Right now, all signs point to Sonny Cumbie. Reportedly, he's been offered the job. Uh, he's going back to consult with his family, also to talk to Gary Patterson, inform him of whatever his decision is, but all signs point to, yes, that he will be the next offensive coordinator of 40 Acres. Nothing official yet, but everybody's assuming that's going to happen, and the the quicker it happens, the better. They got to get this thing rolling. They need that momentum in recruiting, and also, we assume that when that position is filled by Sonny Cumbie or whoever it may be, there will be other changes, too. Maybe he wants to bring in his own wide receivers coach, his own running backs coach. There will be other changes that will have a domino effect as well. I'll tell you five reasons why I really like this hire. Number one, I like the lineage. I like... uh. You know, the coaching tree that Sonny Cumbie comes from. You're talking about that Mike Leach air raid coaching tree. Hey, Art Browse, Cliff Kingsbury, uh, Sonny Cumbie himself, Doug Meacham, Lincoln Riley up there uh, at Oklahoma right now. All those guys from that Mike Leach air raid coaching tree. They're, they're some of the best offensive minds in the country, and they have been for years. So I like Coach going in that direction. Also, hey, Longhorn fans want to turn this thing around. They want instant gratification. They want to turn around right now. And that's what this system is all about, that Mike Leach air raid coaching system. It's pretty much an insert quarterback here system. And that's what we've been missing on the 40 because we haven't had a coach with a system in place for a very long time. That's part of our offensive identity crisis that's existed for the last six years. Hey man, we've had six different offensive coordinators since 2010. Five different starting quarterbacks since 2010. Sonny Cumbie's going to be the seventh offensive coordinator, and he's going to be coming in trying to fix the offensive identity crisis on the 40 acres. Also, hey, he's going to be able to get it done really quickly, and he's done this before. Remember, TCU went through something very similar. They won 11 games Gary Patterson's first two years in the Big 12. Charlie Strong also won 11 games first two years. They had a quarterback crisis, they had an offensive identity crisis, and one of the architects, or at least half of the architecture there, uh, Sonny Cumbie and Doug Meacham, hey, they fixed it, turned into one of the best offensive programs in the country. Hey, he has the blueprint to do the same thing here at Texas. Another thing, he's a quarterback guru. We all remember Trevon Boykin playing wide receiver, you know, then playing quarterback. Looked very inconsistent. Hey, and then he turned him into a Heisman candidate. He can do the same thing with Gerard Hurd, who has those type of raw materials. All those are good reasons why Sonny Cumbie can come in here and turn this thing around. All right, we'll come back. We'll talk more about the Longhorns, hopefully with a new offensive coordinator next week. This is another edition of Behind the Burn Orange Curtain with Texas Sports. SportsConnection.com.